Welcome to live interactive English. Hello, everyone. My name is Karen. Hi, everybody. I'm Shane. And today we're looking at shopping in English, part two. That's right. And we are. We have a third dialogue coming up. That's going to be being offered a discount. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I like discounts, but one thing I've noticed about you is you're not the type of person who chases discounts and who's always trying to find the best deal. You don't really seem to use coupons. You're completely the opposite of me. Okay, okay. There are two things that I care about the most in life: convenience、ah. and comfort. Ah. These two things are very important to me. So as long as it's very convenient, you know, then I'm okay. I don't have to go through all the coupons and see if I can save five dollars here, ten dollars here. Maybe it's not great, but I really need my convenience. Well, I do a, a lot of online shopping, and I often will be comparing items. And sometimes you can buy the same item from different sellers.、Mm -hmm. So I will go to like. The sellers, like、uh, I'm talking about, like on like Shopee or Taobao or something, you can go to the seller's homepage, and sometimes they offer discounts, like if you follow them or something like that, and you can get like ten dollars off, five percent off, ten percent off, and you end up saving, you know, sometimes like thirteen, fifteen, and T. And everything adds up, right? It all adds up. I、yeah. guess you're right. I should be saving a lot more. I like a discount.、Mm, so you don't mind going through all that trouble? Yeah. To find discounts. I agree. I understand your point.、Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm definitely a discount shopper. Okay, maybe I can learn something from you, and I can save some money, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, why don't we get into today's lesson? All right. Shelly approaches the checkout in the clothing store. Hello, I'd like to buy this skirt, please. Sure thing. Did you know that you can get five dollars off by becoming a member? Really? How do I do that? It's easy. Just download our store's app and put in your details. Can you show me how? Of course. First, you need to scan this QR code, and it will take you to our app. Then download it. Got it. What next? Now open the app, fill in your name and email address, and create a password. Done. Great. Let me apply your discount. Okay, as we mentioned, this is shopping in English. We're doing part two,、mm -hmm. and and this、uh, dialogue it's、uh, called being offered a discount. Ah, so what's a discount?、Yes. Okay, discount that is a noun. Basically, it just means a reduction in the usual price, which means you can buy something at a cheaper price. So, for example, the supermarket has a discount on all cookies. All Maybe of them. The original price is one hundred and fifty, and now it's at a discount. Maybe it's only eighty NT. <gasps> Well, where can I buy them? <laughs> At the supermarket. <laughs> okay, so in the dialogue, Shelley、mm -hmm. approaches the checkout in the clothing store. That's right. So the checkout—that's the place in a shop or a store where you pay for your stuff,、that's、pay for your、right. goods. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So I'll be Shelley, and、oh, then you're the, the clerk. clerk. So Shelley says, "Hello, I'd like to buy this skirt, please." Okay, so she's actually very polite. I'd like to. That's I would like to buy the skirt, and she says the magic word, please.、Oh, okay.、Mm -hmm. So the clerk, he likes how polite she is. So he says, sure thing.、Mm -hmm. Did you know that you can get five dollars off by becoming a member? 
Ooh, five dollars off. This is like five U.S. dollars. Exactly. So it's not five NT. <laughs> not five NT. We're talking five U.S. dollars, right? So that's like around one hundred and fifty NT, something that's, like that. That's so a lot. That's quite a lot. And Shelly says, "Really? How do I do that?" Oh, becoming a member, though. Let's go back to that. What's becoming a member? Well, usually that you can.、Um, Give your details、mm -hmm. to the store,、mm -hmm. so that they have your information. So if they have some promotions, for example, when you sign up, you will give your address, or you will at least give your phone number and email address. So if they have some promotions or something, they can advertise to you. So、That's、they want、right. you to become a member. And get a membership,、mm -hmm. and that way you can get discounts in the store、mm -hmm. a lot of times too. If you are, if you have a membership, and sometimes you might have to pay a little bit of extra to become a member. Sometimes because maybe they give you a better discount when it comes to buying things in the store.、Mm -hmm. So she wants to know how to become a member, and the clerk says, "It's easy. Just download our store's app、mm -hmm. and put." In your details. Ah, download our store's app. So app, this well, word. I think we all know what an app is. <laughs> Let's first start off by saying this is, does not say app. <laughs> it says app. Exactly. This is how we say it in English. We say app, but that's actually application,、ah. especially an application designed for a mobile device like a smartphone. So you would download this app from the store and put in the details. Right. So a details is just a small individual fact or item.、Mm -hmm. It could be like your name. Your phone number, not, phone number, your email birth address, day. birth date,、mm -hmm. exactly. So, for example, I need to provide my details in order to book the plane tickets. That's right. You have to give your information, right? Yeah. A lot of times, with a plane ticket, there's a lot more details you have to add. Exactly.、Like、passport number,、oh, things like that. It's a hassle, but it's worth it. Okay. Okay. So Shelly says, "Can you show me how?" So I guess she is not very familiar with downloading apps well, onto app. her phone, right? Well, or she's just never seen this app, so、mm -hmm. he's not really sure how this app works. So、That's、the、right. clerk, being very helpful, helpful says, "Of course. First, you need to scan." This QR code,、mm -hmm. and it will take you to our app.、Oh. Then download it. Okay, so first you have to scan, scan this QR code. So to scan basically is using a piece of electronic equipment to get information from something such as a bank card or a product's barcode, or you can scan the QR code,、right. and then it will take your、uh, take you to the app. You want to download, yeah, right? Yeah. In this case, it's really just like a link、yes. to either the app or something like that. So、mm -hmm. Shelly says, "Got it. What next?" So the clerk says, "Now open the app,、mm -hmm. fill in your name and email address, and." Create a password. Ah, these are quite common. Whenever you have to set up an account for something, and this password is something that only you would know and no other people would know. So you would need a password maybe for your bank card as well, right? Sure, for security purposes.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so then Shelly <laughs> does it, and what she say? She says done. That means I'm finished. Okay, so the clerk says great. Let me apply your discount.、Oh. What does that mean to apply a discount? Well, basically, to apply the discount, to use the discount, to put it to practical use, to use it. So, for example, you should apply your skills from college to your new job. So you can kind of say use here too. You should use your skills.、So、exactly. It's kind of a fancy word for use. Mm-hmm.、Oh, okay. Okay. All right.、Uh, why don't we take a short break and we'll be right back. All right. Hello, 大家好，我是 Kenny。今天要继续来看两段跟购物有关的对话。那第三段对话的标题是 Being offered a discount， 
获得折扣。那么 discount 就是指折扣，它是个名词。我们看到对话里面的 Shelly， 她在服饰店的收银台准备要结账，那么店员就问她知不知道加入会员可以折抵五美元，只要下载他们店里面的手机应用程式，然后输入个人详细资料就可以了。虽然填资料听起来很麻烦，可是可以折抵五美元，好像很划算。于是 Shelly 就请店员告诉他要怎么做。那店员就教他先扫描行动条码，下载应用程式，打开这个程式之后，输入姓名、email， 然后再设定密码就可以了。那完成之后，店员就立刻帮他使用折扣。我们来看单字 detail。detail 这个名词，它可以表达有关某人或某事的资讯啊、细节，常常会用复数型。那么刚刚 Karen 老师在讲到填资料很麻烦时，他用到 hassle。H A S S L E hassle 就表示麻烦，是个名词。下一个单字 apply apply 在这边当动词表示使用、应用。再来文中的这个 app 是指应用程式。我们有时候中文在讲的时候，大家常说 A P P， 可是要特别注意它的正确发音应该是 app。那它是 application 的简称。好，我们接下课文中。Shelly is ready to pay for her skirt. Okay, so that's forty-five dollars, please. Would you like to pay by cash, card, or mobile payment? I'd like to pay with my card. Sure. Would you like a bag for an extra ten cents? Yes, please. That would be helpful. All right, your total is forty-five dollars and ten cents. Then, please put your card on the machine and sign here. Thank you. Your skirt and receipt are in the bag. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Enjoy your new skirt. Have a great day. Welcome back, everyone. Yo. <laughs> so before the break, we have Shelly, and she's shopping in a clothing store, and she's talking to a clerk, and she's also being offered a discount because they said that、oh, you could get five dollars off if you become a member.、Ooh. And then Shelly asks, "How do I become a member?" So the clerk would show her that you have to. Scan the QR code, and you have to fill in your information. You have to use the app. Exactly,、okay. use the app. All right. So now we're going to be discussing payment methods. Ah. All right. So a method is just a particular way of doing something.、Mm -hmm. All right. So for example, Tony showed me his method for cleaning the windows. Like his way of cleaning windows, right?、Exactly. Okay, so payment methods. So because there are many different types of methods,、mm -hmm. you could pay by cash, you could pay by credit card, you could pay by dancing. <laughs> I don't think so. No, <laughs> you can pay by debit card as well. Okay. Okay, so Shelly is ready to pay for her skirt. Okay, so again, I'm the clerk. You are Shelly. The clerk says, "Okay, so that's forty-five dollars, please." Would you like to pay by cash, card, or mobile payment? That's right. Mobile payment. You use your phone to pay, right? Do you remember? We're pretty old. Do you remember when you would be cash, card, or check? <laughs> no, I never went through that phase. You Sorry. You never had to use a check. I'm not. I'm not that old. Sure, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. But yeah, mobile payment. A lot of people now are paying with mobile payments instead of. Carrying around cash or their cards. Exactly. So now Shelly says, "I like to pay with my card." Oh, okay. So maybe like a credit card or a debit card.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So、uh, the clerk says, "Sure." Would you like a bag for an extra ten cents? Oh, 
okay. So this is like, you know, for helping the environment. Don't just give a bag to everybody. If you want one, you've got to pay for it. That's right. Or Shelly could just carry or bring her own shopping bag when she wants to go shopping, or she right? Has a backpack or a purse, so you mm. can just put it in there, right? Exactly. Okay, so now Shelly says, yes, please. That would be helpful. So I guess she doesn't have an extra shopping bag. She doesn't have space, right? Okay. Mm. All right, so the clerk says, all right, your total is $45.10 then. Mm -hmm. Please put your card on the machine and sign here. Ah, okay. Usually you have to sign when you are paying by credit card, right? Yeah, so you have to put it on the machine and it will scan the card and then you have to sign it. And if you notice, it really does kind of depend on the dollar amount. Ah. Sometimes you need a signature <gasps> if it's over some sort of a threshold, mm -hmm. right? It could be like $20 and under you don't need a signature. You are right. $20, and, and it varies from store to store. They have different policies, right? Precisely. Mm -hmm. And now Shelly signs. She signs her name. Which would be her... Signature. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so the clerk says, thank you. Your skirt and receipt are in the bag. Okay. Well, the clerk is actually very, very helpful. And Shelly says, thanks for your help. Okay. So Clerk says, you're welcome. Enjoy your new skirt. Have a great day. That's actually really, really good customer service. You know, yeah. when you go to the store to buy something, if the clerk, they are very polite, very nice, you will want to go back and shop again, right? This is quite helpful. Wanted to help her get her discounts. And mm -hmm. then afterwards, he tells her to have a great day. Enjoy and your new skirt. Enjoy your new skirt. Yeah, I don't get that great of customer service here in Taiwan usually. Sometimes. <laughs> Rarely. Sometimes. I, I have to say the U.S. I don't know about Canada. Is yeah, Canada actually, yeah. excellent customer service as well? I would say so. When you go yeah. to the stores, people always greet you. It's like, hi, good morning, hi, good well, afternoon. I really like your skirt. Exactly. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Hope you learned a little something from our dialogues and making exchanges and returns, getting discounts. And payment methods. That's right. But we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Discussing discussing payment methods. 讨论支付方式, 那么method这个名词就表示方法 那么接着店员也问他是不是要多花十美分来买一个袋子，Shelly说要。所以最后呢，店员就请他把这个卡片放在机器上，来可能是感应刷卡，然后并签名。Shelly老师提到说，刷信用卡的时候，通常在一定的
Shelly approaches the checkout in the clothing store. Hello, I'd like to buy this skirt, please. Sure thing. Did you know that you can get $5 off by becoming a member? Really? How do I do that? It's easy. Just download our store's app and put in your details. Can you show me how? Of course. First, you need to scan this QR code and it will take you to our app. Then download it. Got it. What next? Now, open the app, fill in your name and email address, and create a password. Done. Great, let me apply your discount. Shelly is ready to pay for her skirt. Okay, so that's $45, please. Would you like to pay by cash, card, or mobile payment? I'd like to pay with my card. Sure. Would you like a bag for an extra 10 cents? Yes, please, that would be helpful. All right, your total is $45.10 then. Please put your card on the machine and sign here. Thank you. Your skirt and receipt are in the bag. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Enjoy your new skirt. Have a great day. Hi everyone. Don't know what to do on a boring day in Taipei? No worries. We got you covered. There's a fun park where people of all ages can spend an exciting and carefree day together. You like merry-go-rounds and roller coasters? Well then, you'll love this spot. Taipei Children's Amusement Park is located in the Shiling District in Taipei City. The park was built in 2014. It is a place for fun and culture. Families can have fun on rides such as Crazy Bus, Drop Tower, and Swing Ship. There are free areas to play, like the Ball Pit and Sandbox. If visitors get hungry, there is a large food court. It has everything from desserts to fast food. After eating, there are many shows to watch at the outdoor theater. There is so much to do at Taipei Children's Amusement Park. Kids will want to come back again and again. Even I love going to the Taipei Children's Amusement Park. Maybe I'll see you there next time. Bye-bye.